Hello! Welcome to an introduction video for another Let's Play series by myself. This time we're going to be focusing on a not often well-known JRPG series that started in the mid-80s on a Japanese PC company called the PC-98. Not many people know about this, but it is a but it was a niche series until the days of the PSP, where a company called XE Games basically decided to revolution to move this move the series into English, and basically from then on the series has been getting has been getting consistent views. I'm talking about the series known as East. Yes, that's what that's what it's called. It's called East, and the games are about ooh, right now. Because it was released on the Switch, it's then it's now moving on to the ninth game in the series, which is surprisingly very effective. But there was a compilation back back of the day, a re-release, which is the East Book One and Two Chronicles Plus, or was a complete plus. Either one of those is one of these things. But it, the series, is, the first two games, has often been re-released for every everything. So so far. They've not re-released the games yet. The 2012-2013 re-releases of the game is the one I bought. And it's the one we're going to be using today. But, I first encountered this series back when it was on the Turbo... Back when it was released on the Wii Virtual Console. When it was a TurboGrafx-16 game. That was my first exposure. So, it's not just Rondo Blood that the TurboGrafx-16 is not well known for, it's also well known for the, for um, East as well. Which is, back then, it was a clock, it was a candidate to take on Zelda back in the day. I think there was another Zelda clone called Newtopia, but I think we'll have to wait till another day for that one. But, we're going to be taking, the, luckily for this series, and I'll probably going to be explaining it in probably like a few episodes or so, this game is not very long, the first book at least. So, sit back, relax, and we're going to be experiencing the very first adventure, or rather, the very adventure that made Ale Christensen a much well-famous adventurer, and what began his lifelong journey to basically be as free as the wind. <laughs> 